So, Kevin, could you tell us more about the family, the, the style and the family um, you're involved with? Yang style refers to Yang family. So most people, when they see Yang style, they think, oh, yin yang, tai chi symbol. No, nothing to do with that. It's the name of a family, um, actually Young family, and, and better, more correct to spell it Y-E-U-N-G, not Y-A-N-G, but that's okay. Um, more commonly known that way. Um, and the family, the Young family, was the second great family, shall, you, shall we say, of, of Tai Chi. The Chen family was the first big family of Tai Chi, and the founder, Yang Lu Chen, uh, learned from from the family. There's a, quite a great story about how how that happened. How he secreted him, him secreted himself away as a as a servant, basically, and and sort of stole looks and uh, learned the the art as an unofficial, uh, not as a student initially. Um, anyway, a longer story there, but uh, um, I won't go into great detail now on that. So he um, created this. Uh, art, which became known as uh, Yang style, he had um, quite a great reputation prior to that as a as a kung fu um, artist, as a as a great fighter, and he created this new system, uh, taking from the Chen family as as he saw appropriate, and then that got passed down over a number of generations, coming more currently today. Um, as I said earlier in the interview, my teacher. Um, is a direct student, uh, which has is full of import. The uh, direct student of uh, Yang Ma Li Sifu, or Mary Yang, who was the second daughter of Yang Sao Chang, who I said earlier. Now, to people who are watching this who have little idea about Tai Chi, this is not going to mean a lot. Um, those who have some history in Yang style Tai Chi or Tai Chi in general, this will hopefully have a little bit of. Um, Import it. Um, they'll 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 recognize why this is significant. What I'm, what I'm saying. So um, my teacher's been training with Mary for you know since '97, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours. Uh, she was taught since she was a little girl um, by her father, very strictly. Um, uh, great stories about her training um, at uh, at his uh, under his hand and um, and his, her sisters as well. Uh, so the family had a history of never having been defeated in battle, in hand-to-hand -hand combat, uh, which uh, they grew up, came up during times when China was, uh, you know, quite the war-torn country, all sorts of problems, uh, you know, bandits and <laughs> um, uh, soldiers and all sorts of things. And of course, as a martial artist, you could have someone come to your doorstep on any given day, and they would want to challenge you and in a fight to see how good your your art was. Uh, so there are many stories, many great colorful stories of that happening with uh, members of the family. Well, their art stood the test of the test of time. And um, today, we I feel incredibly fortunate to be receiving the, the 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 essence, the pure seed, you could say, of the family's art, not what most people are training in around the world when they do yang style tai chi it is yang style it's not yang young family <laughs> tai chi it was a, you could say sort of a vanilla version of the art more people mostly tra taking it for you know health and relaxation purposes which is fine nothing wrong with that of course but uh, there is it is a martial art there is a uh, it is not it is not a whole art without that aspect as well. And I should say to those who might be watching who are thinking, I don't really have interest in a martial art, um, this is not to say that you have to want to um, get into fights or uh, you know, have to become a great fighter. That's not really the, um, the main idea. But the, the main idea is that uh, having this martial intent, this martial um, idea underlying the movements changes entirely the the effect of what you're doing even in terms of health and well-being and all these other things that people are after so um, this is really quite um, quite a I think a big point to make and people should 
should understand that what we're what we're trying to get across the people in our teaching and our in our classes is as close as possible to the original uh, art as uh, as we can get. Thank you.